I made a DPS calculator for Elden Ring with the help of Cryptid Tracker. In it, we included a link to the updated sheet, as you have to make a copy to use it. So that way, no matter what changes we make, you will always be informed of what we make and when we make it. I also have a Discord link, which will link to my Discord. And we can sort by DPS, first attack damage, and attacks per second. Uh, the default will be DPS, as that's its primary function. And so we can scroll through these. We can set our stats, the defense and damage negation, the moves that we're using, if we want the weapon to be effective, or use any weapon regardless if we meet the requirements. We can also check any weapon class. However, for now, the bows, sacred seals, staffs, and shields are inoperable as they aren't really that important for DPS calculation. It's going to be added later on, as well as different movesets outside of the one-handed, two-handed, and power stance, like Ashes of War and Jumping Attacks. You can also set your affinity, or use all affinities. So right now we're calculating for a dexterity build with 20 strength and 80 dexterity, and we're trying to figure out what has higher DPS between the Thrusting Swords and Twin Blades. And so right now we're only doing one-handed and two-handed movesets. So as you can see, it's loading a little bit. It is a slow process, and you do need a pretty beefy computer to run it, because you are calculating for all the weapons, and Google Sheets isn't really set up to do that much. But we have it, it works, it's just slow. Give it time, it'll, it'll work eventually. So as you can see, the Keen Guts Compiler has the highest DPS and the highest DPS Thrusting Sword is the Keen S-Dock with uh, 650 DPS, which is really not even close to the Twin Blade. So this will help you optimize your builds for PvE or PvP, although DPS isn't really that important for PvP. And you can put in your exact stats and figure out what you should be upgrading and what you should be finding. DPS is really the only thing that matters for PvE. Range isn't really all that important. Damage can be if you're going for a one-shot build, but at the same time, consistent DPS will be vastly superior. So now we're using the two-handed and power stance moveset to compare, and you can't do all the movesets at once, however, if you want a shorter list, you should look for two hand and power stance. One hand generally isn't going to give you as high of DPS as two hand or power stance. So we can see that the Paradella one of the Gatskin Peeler is actually worse than the two hand run. And so you want to check each individual class to find what's optimal, power stance, two hand, or one hand, because that will make a difference if you're trying to calculate for DPS. And so we can check all weapons at the same time that's going to load all weapons, including shields, although those aren't relevant as they don't have DPS, they will be put at the bottom of the list since they don't have the frame data. And the script is going to be quite slow as I said. Google Sheets is really struggling to run this, which is why we didn't include nice to have like Ashes of War or Auxiliary Effects yet. We will add those down the line, but for now this is just a working version of a basic DPS spreadsheet. So it is very important to realize that if you're going for something like a bleed build, we don't calculate buffs, and we don't calculate bleed and auxiliary effects yet. We do have damage multipliers, 
but that's not going to be the same as say an AR buff. So there we go, it finally loaded, now it has to calculate all the weapons. And there we go, for a strength build, as it kind of finishes loading in, for a strength build, the best weapon you can have for DPS in PvE is the Venomous Fang. And again, this is not counting auxiliary effects, so Venus, Venomous Fang just has the straight up highest DPS for strength build. Although the Beastman's Heavy Curve Sword is only 30 DPS behind, however that number will grow if you use multi-hit talismans. It's also important to note that if you're not using the full attack chain, your DPS will be a lot lower, as that's what we used here to calculate the DPS, is the attack chain. So if we add in pierce damage using spear talisman and the just regular counter hit damage, we're going to see that the cross naginata and pike suddenly jump up to be the best by a pretty decent amount. And really, Venomous Fang got pushed down to number 17, to rank 17. And so, just another reason that Heavy Giant Crusher versus Heavy Rusted Anchor, Rusted Anchor is better. There's no reason not to use it, it has higher DPS.